So I'm sitting today with Professor Agnieszka Sharkowska, who is a researcher on visual translation and subtitling in particular, and she is well known for her research using eye tracking. Uh, maybe we could start by explaining to, uh, to those of our viewers and listeners who have never heard of eye tracking, what is it and how does it work? Uh, yeah, hello, uh, good to be here. Um, so eye tracking is, uh, in simple terms, uh, this technology that allows us uh, researchers uh, to know where and for how long uh, people are looking. And uh, it can be uh, used out in uh, the real world. For instance, you can uh, get those eye trackers um, or eye tracking glasses, for instance. Uh, lots of marketing departments uh, use that so where you take a person to a supermarket, let's say, and you see how they're interacting, interacting where they're looking on the shelves, you know, where you want to play certain products and uh, where they're looking at the logo in the right way, etc. So there's a lot of um, marketing research with eye tracking. Uh, the eye trackers uh, we have uh, been using are uh, mostly um, ones that you uh, actually use in the lab. So uh, as, a, as a participant, you come to the lab, you sit in front of a screen and there's an eye tracker uh, attached somewhere uh, it basically looks like a like a panel uh, there's a, a camera or two cameras and some infrared light illuminators and they uh, light uh, your eye and uh, using some special algorithm that i'm not going to talk about uh, they know where on the screen uh, you are looking and previously uh, eye trackers uh, and eye tracking research was very invasive uh, people would wear those head mounted eye trackers and they would have to have this bite bar so that they uh, don't move now eye tracking research is much more uh, user friendly our participants just come and uh, sit in the lab and uh, watch subtitle films although we have this one contraption uh, that is uh, called a chin rest which basically is a uh, uh, this device that you just put your chin there and uh, again the whole idea is that your um, head doesn't move so that we can track precisely uh, where you're looking. 